Hey, what's up guys? So today we are going to explore a new custom ROM on our Redmi Note 8. This one is based on Android 15 and this one is called Pixel Edge ROM and someone in the comment section did ask me to try this ROM and this one is by far one of the best ROM I have ever tried. I personally don't like any kind of Pixel OS or Pixel Experience ROM, this type of ROM because they don't really come with any kind of features and also they are not really that much stable then other ROMs available like Evolution X, Driftfest, those ROMs are really good but this one actually exceeds my expectation and this one by far one of the best ROM and if you are using a Redmi Note 8 and if you are changing ROM frequently you must try this ROM out so let's not talk much and explore the ROM so first of all unlock the device and check out what we are getting so go into the settings section and the setting does look like similar to Android 14 based ROM, nothing changed. And if I go, as you can see here, Android 15, and the ROM is here, as you can see, Pixel 8 and V2.0. The security patch level is 5th of September 2024, a bit old. I have been using this ROM for maybe a week now. So the ROM is working perfectly fine and I don't really know you noticed or not. If you back, you can see the peak of the last screen so there is a feature of android 15 based rom and it is included here really cool and going with the other things like there are nothing much going on in terms of android 15 based features but whatever implemented here are by far one of the best implementation and they works really well in terms of network and internet and other things those are working fine i haven't faced any kind of issue with them and notification panel as you can see here there is nothing much going on it's pretty much similar to android 14 based rom battery section doing pretty good battery backup is exit my expectation good storage as you can see here after installing few application it's still uh, half of the storage is still available and it does take a little more storage than android 14 based rom and sound and vibration good no issue with them and in terms of display, if we go to display, we do have adaptive brightness. Those are working. Dark mode, night light, color and other things. And also, if I go back and go to wallpaper and style, we do have AI wallpaper section here. So if I go back and more wallpaper section, so we do have AI wallpaper and AI wallpaper does work actually. It's a little slower than Evolution X ROM, but works flawlessly. So if I try a new so let's let me choose something create wallpaper it takes time actually last time i tried it takes very long to like come out with wallpapers but let's see how long it takes this time yes it's going to take long let's skip this one and it's a little laggy as you can see here going back so the AI wallpaper does work, uh, you have to give it a little time and in terms of security and privacy, the fingerprint unlock does work perfectly fine and there is no face unlock feature on this ROM so it, it works each and every time, no issue and also there was no delay if you keep your device for a long time even, it will take similar time as generally it takes so there was no delay and rather than that, nothing much going on, there is no extra feature on this ROM and that's all what we are getting and going back to the home screen so we do have few application here but there is no MIUI camera application here and it did come with a camera application which does work perfectly fine as you can see here and also I did install an application this one is directly from Google Play Store and it is also working perfectly fine as you can see so you can install Gcam directly from other source but this one is directly from play store so you can install this one too but it does not come with much feature actually and going with other things like photos so we do get unlimited photo storage so as you can see here this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos without charge so that's also a bible and another thing although this one is based on android 15 but this rom got safety net passed so you can install bank application here there will be no issue so as you can see no issue and going to the play store certification so if i go to certification setting about so as you can see this device is certified so you can use all sorts of application here you're not going to face any kind of 
compatibility issue so everything's going to be fine and there are few other applications as you can see here Gemini is there but there is no feature like circle to search or anything like that so if I press and hold as you can see here nothing it's doing nothing maybe in feature build they will include and one more thing which is introduced in Android 15 based ROM is private space so as you can see here I did unable it so if I press here and it will ask me to put the pattern and it is completely a different phone than the usual one so you can install application directly here and you have to log into your gmail address here too because it has no connection with the main OS so it's completely different if you are using Xiaomi phone there is a second space which is similar thing actually and the second space in Xiaomi phone available in from very long time actually and I have been using actually second space on my Poco F5 Pro and it's a quite useful feature actually and as you can see here now it is like asking me pattern and uh, other fingerprint or other things but you can change it actually you can change it to different one or if you want different pattern you can do that actually and if I like try to access Play Store now as you can see it is asking me to log in my Gmail because it has no connection with the uh, main OS so it's kind of cool feature but not really a new feature for me I have been using this feature for a very long time and there is also like pixel studio I installed it directly from photos section but it does not work it, it is a editor application which provide like magic eraser and other things but it does not work and in terms of gaming this ROM blows my mind actually it's really good for Android 15 based ROM this type of performance is kind of amazing so as I said if you are using a Redmi Note 8 and if you are changing ROM frequently you must try out this ROM so one more thing I have to tell you is that the installation process is a little different than usual Android 14 based ROM so I will put the link to follow the step by step guide to install the ROM because you have to follow a few more steps than usual Android 14 based ROM and the ROM link and the step by step flashing process will be in the description below so that's all about this ROM as far as my uses it's just amazing so you should try this ROM so that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one